getting late. My lids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears in my brain are producing much sound. The night is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. Feel restless. My sight veers toward the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I'd know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absentmindedly but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. The night is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway, but I don't want to look at it. I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room, there's a bed in my room. There's a wardrobe in my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. I think I'm gonna need it. A little bit, maybe? That sound. Are those steps? Uh. No, that's impossible. Must be my imagination. That's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They are gone. Right. There's no way someone could be there. Wait in this game. I've never seen this game. Uh. Yeah. Oh gosh. The fuck? Why did it whisper in my ear? Open your eyes. Gosh. Uh. Turn the volume all the way up. Ugh. No. Heck no. I'm not looking at that thing. I'd rather die than look at it, honestly. I don't want to know what it is. Don't open my eyes. Am I gonna die? Open your eyes. Look at me. I don't want to look at him. I do my best to ignore the voice. Is he probably ugly? I don't want to look. Where are your manners? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Whispering in my ears. I can feel your hot breath. How it is. I feel someone breathing over my ear. Ooh. It's cold. I'll share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly.
My manners. He walked to that room with my house no invitation. Where are your manners, dude? Dude, maybe he was like the gremlin living in my wall or something. I don't know. He's like, please look at me. Also him five seconds later. Okay, please don't look at me. I know you're not asleep. Ugh. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Oh, God. I could almost grab them. <laughs> it's like so creepy, like... ASMR kind of thing. Feel something caress my ear. Put my fingers around them and tear them off. Oh. If I do, if you scream, if I hear your voice. Uh. It was a joke. Oh gosh. I'm joking. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I only came in here to creep you out. I'm only joking, bro. I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, how do you think my eyes look? When our cases finally meet, what will you find? Answer me. Uh. I ima I just imagine he has like the tiniest little like tiniest little like M and M sized eyes. I don't know why. I'm just imagining him these tiny eyes. They're, what do their eyes look like? Oh. They look lost. Yeah, you're lost. Why are you in my house? Oh. Silent. Eyes. Are these my eyes? Yes, dude. I think you're pretty lost to me. A good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. Open. Look at me. Eyes. Look at me. Breath of cold air caresses my ashes. It's fine. We still have time. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna be here all night. I'm gonna wait out. I'm gonna creep you out. The night is still and silent. Heavy breathing ensues.
If you want to talk, at least invite me to coffee so I'm invading my room the night is in the best city I know. Like, ugh. Ugh, like, you want to, like, get to know me and talk about how sad you are, like... You don't have to, like, come to me in my most vulnerable state. Like, ugh. That's, like, the worst first impression you can make, right? Sometimes. Like, do you want to be friends? Or are you just trying to creep me out, bro? Like, what's your angle? I can't open doors. I find them. Tricky. Should I push or pull? Should I turn the knob left or right? Should I try to take it off its hinges? Should I chip away? You turn around and you open it back up again, bro. And what happens? If the wind pushes it close, what then? So many options. So many things that could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. You know what? I think this would be scarier if it didn't even have the music. If you just turn the music off. You turn the music off, and you just very faintly... Very faintly just have him whispering in your ear. That'd be worse. It's completely silent. I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. It fills me with the search for a crevice or a window anything that might be open anything that might let me in i'm not good with doors but as long as there's a place where i can fit then i can go in anywhere every night i hop across the shadows of the streets i'm careful so as to not be caught by the light in my eternal search i pick a place where to rest i slip in and spend the night is comfortable without alerting anyone. And why'd you come in and bug me, dude? Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. I feel at home there. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. So I search hard for a door that's open. For someone to be at the other end, awake, as if expecting me, but you won't look at me. Turn off the music. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> uh. You terrified to chase you out. That means you welcome me. Ugh. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand, something moves over my bed sheets. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm. Because people are always warm. I don't think he's warm. It says he's been putting cold breath on me. He's probably freezing. Answer me. Uh.
What's just the least ugly option? Tired hands. Probably be. It, I'd be tired if I was him. It's, no, I'm not giving him long witchy fingers. I am not doing that. I know what deceitful tired. looks like. I can imagine that. I am not making him have like nasty demon fingers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's worse. <laughs> that may be so. That's worse. Okay, maybe deceitful wouldn't be the worst option. I need some nail trimmers. My goodness. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. I don't know if I want to hold those. Ugh, yeah, I know. Ugh. Tired. I had a feeling the tired ones might be ugly. But like, uh, I don't know. I was afraid the incomplete ones might just be like weird nubs. And there are sensations His fingers are the best to type. Perhaps he's a future in his secretary job. Maybe. Although I would want to take care of those nails, because you might accidentally, like, break a nail. You know, if you go too fast. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric. Of skin against skin. Resistible. They want more. They want to feel closer. To have it between them and around them more and more and more. Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. Are you sure? Because those are pretty long fingers. That's when I bend a hand. I take over and stretch. Stretch, stretch, and they crawl. Well, that explains just it. The length of a fingernail every time, but they grow just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside, discarded, and forgotten. That's why they are tired, because they never stop seeking, and most likely. Hey. <laughs> Have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. Like when you drop a pen on the floor and you're trying to grab it but you can't reach it. Then you have to get up to get it. Uh... Have you? Although I haven't felt that feeling in a long time. It's silent. These hands. Are these my hands? Yeah, bro. A good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. So you won't look at me. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. Skin. Oh. Can you hear it? My skin is pulsating. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I want. 
wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look, but it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy, since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land. Can he not just look in a mirror? I guess he's just invisible in mirrors. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. Ugh, I don't want to open my eyes. That way you can help me. Mm. We can both be fulfilled. I don't know if Just looking at him would make me it. quite fulfilled. Makes me feel... I guess, like, fulfilling the curiosity of knowing what's creeping at my bedside. Feel... Okay. Something. I had enough strange DM and you're drunk. I'll call an Uber seeing you at home, okay? Yeah. I'll dial it with my eyes closed because <laughs> I still don't want to look at you. I cannot describe it. Ooh. I am not good with words. Mm -hmm. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being talk must be a challenge yet they did simply because they could it is weird to remember because it makes me think of why I want to be seen I feel bad for him but at the same time he's also kind of creepy and I am not sure and kind of passive aggressive I don't care much for my appearance I don't want to be judged but if that were it I could easily stay out sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Dude, you're just lonely. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me, and you finally take those bed sheets off your body, and you inspect every crevice of mine. I don't want to see your crevices. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours to let me hear what I am, and to maybe even give me a name. Makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey, what does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. Uh. I feel like we would just look. I feel like we would just stare at each other, right? An emotionless stare. <laughs> Sad. Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. 
Silence. This expression is this my expression. I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. has done this for me. I feel a connection with you, one born out of honest gratitude. But there is one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Uh. I don't know. I feel like if I open my eyes, he's just not gonna be there. Like, I feel like if I do, he's just not gonna be there. No. Uh oh. I see. I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before, so I have no. For anything else, no, that is a lie. Ever since I stepped into this room, oh gosh, the music did stop. You have refused to engage with me. Uh oh, not even once, 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 not even once. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Didn't want to look. Not even once. Did you look at my face? You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. Keep saying no. Uh-oh, stinky. I know. I feel like if I say yes, it's just gonna end the game. Right, because I feel like he's just gonna disappear. But I keep saying no because I want to see how far he's gonna take this. Also kind of like, scared. But you know. You haven't opened your mouth. You've given me nothing. You've given me no material. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far 
are beyond what most others can, and I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too are a liar. The type that shows one thing and feels another. Oh, bug. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. Uh, 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 oh no. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. Fuck. Uh. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. <laughs> but I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. Oh. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. Oh, frick. So now, you will open your eyes. Judged me. Uh, bro, I didn't say anything to you. I didn't promise you anything. And see me for what I truly am. I'm gonna peel your eyes open. You said so. Remember? It is Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> That in this room, he's either gonna be, oh, everything looks. either gonna be really ugly, really scary, or really hot, and I'm kind of I'm afraid of even the hot option. <laughs> huh. It was those words that brought me here, so you have to oh, you look have at me. To do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Time. Eyes, I'll do it for you with my Open long witchy fingers. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Uh. Uh, can I make a save here? Because I don't want to have to go through the dialogue again. Make a save here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I feel like no matter what I do at this point, it's gonna be. You had your chance. Had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. Oh. Ugh. You won't open your eyes. I will. Ugh. It coils around my head. Pressure on my skull is unbearable. Better. Ah, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? Uh, I want to answer. They've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is. Uh. I close my eyes. Uh. Open your eyes. Uh, why am I looking at you? Why are you a spaghetti monster? Why nobody likes you. Open, open, open. Oh no. Oh no. It seems I did it again. You 
can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that. When they do. Well, yeah, something in my hand is what they left behind. What is it? Feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. I have no clue. 